My name is Jonathan Golden. And I'm Davis Porterfield. And we are excited to welcome you to the first edition of Boy State Broadcasting for Tuesday night. An overview of what we'll be covering today is as follows. Announcement of laws and general information. The sports, weather, and knowing our governor candidates. And now, let's, let's head, head into our broadcast. Thanks, Isaac. Good evening. It is about 62 degrees and mostly cloudy with a low tonight of 54. Tomorrow, it will be cloudy with a high of 78 and a low of 59. I'm Andrew with the weather. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Andrew. And now we will send this broadcast to Corey, Brian, and Jake to learning your governor candidates. I have with me here the person running for governor for the Federalist Party and you, Jake. Alessandro Caver running for governor for the Nationalist Party. I have some questions for you too. Carson, what are your main goals if you are elected into office? So my main goals are to probably pass some legislation that go for, that help benefit both the Federalist and the Nationalist Party. Um, the great aim here is we're a brotherhood, so we want to work together to make this boy state the best boy state possible. What are your main goals if you're elected into office? I want to make West Virginia the greatest state in the entire, entire United States, and that starts with the people from Boy State. Okay. What do you think about your opposing candidate? Oh, I have, I have great respect for Sandra. I mean, we're, we live pretty close to each other, so I mean, we're good friends back in town, and he's a great man. I mean, good leader and good qual qualities, but I'd have to say I think I'm a bit well qualified for this position. What do you think of your opposing candidate? You know, we're both from Harrison County, and I think that just shows that Harrison County is the supreme county in West Virginia. And he's a great leader. Um, he's very smart, and I think he would be a great leader for governor, but I think I'm pretty qualified for this position, so whoever wins, I'll be happy. What made you want to run for this position? Well, in my home school, um, I'm student body president, and I've always had, like, a interest in government, I'd say, and coming to this camp, I knew Immediately, I kind of knew I wanted to just go for it all. You know, I, I thought, why not? It could be me. And I'm actually a Bar Association president, too. And, I mean, running for leadership abilities like this, I, I think I'm well qualified for the position, and I would like to represent all the citizens here. What made you want to run for this position? You know, I, I really like the whole dynamic of Boy State, and I think I'm well-suited to um, be in charge of the legislation, look over certain things, certain bills that could pass. And um, I'm just excited to see what could get done. So that's why I chose to run. As we conclude our first broadcast, we would like to give some additional updates. The main courses for tomorrow's menu are bre for breakfast, omelets, for lunch, hot dogs, and for dinner, pork tenderloin and, cho and chocolate pudding. Also, please make sure to vote tonight in the general election to fulfill your duties as citizens of your state. In conclusion of our broadcast, we hope our men of tomorrow have a great night's rest after everyone reports to their cabin at 1210. See, See you men tomorrow. tomorrow.